welcome back to my channel my name is Zena and today we'll be reviewing the new Divine Pat McGrath blushes that was recently released recently as in probably like two three days ago depending on how fast I edit this video but yeah that's what we're going to do today who doesn't love blushes like everybody does I guess so in today's video we will be demoing three blushes from the Divine line which is Electric Bloom desert orchid and cherish and i hope you guys enjoy it this blushes come in nine shades they're supposed to work for every skin tone uh they retail for 38 dollars at sephora or the pat mcgrath website i think those are the only places that like this product are sold you guys uh i know 38 dollars is a little expensive but again we're working with pat mcgrath and you know her products are top tier okay so yeah, that's what we're going to do. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and join the family. Anyways, let me not waste your time. Let's just jump into demoing this product. Since I don't want to waste your time, I did my base off camera and my eyes. For my eyes, I did use the Pat McGrath Mothership. I don't know what, I think this is five. This is five eyeshadow and this is what the palette looks like for my foundation and my primer. Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation in medium 20. This is a tad bit da darker, so if you want to use me as a shade reference, I suggest you go probably a shade lighter, I'm not sure. And then I used the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer for my primer. What else did I use? What else did I use? And then to set my under eye, always, this is my favorite under eye setting powder. From Pat McGrath you can see I use it a lot there's like this tiny dent on it anyways let's just jump and review the blushes so the three blushes that I got are what, what did I get what did I get what did I get fam uh, electric bloom this is what electric bloom looks like second shade is cherish this is a very light Pink. Okay, why is it not focusing? Sir, compose yourself. The two shades that I show you, they're like semi matte when it comes to finishing, but this one has a little bit of shimmer, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And this is in the shade Desert Orchid. Yo, this is so pretty, but I don't know if this is really the blush for my skin tone. Excuse me. When it comes to the packaging, they look exactly like. You know the standard fancy like really fancy uh packaging by pat mcgrath they have like this mirror that is like really good to do like your whole face you can see it it's beautiful the first shade that i'm going to use is cherish and again this is what it looks like this blushes are supposed to be like a silky like velvet powder that are buildable they're mistake proof application so even if you put a lot i think there's a way of like working around it this is diffusing very nicely i don't know if you can see it look at this the cherish blush is a neutral pink demi matte finish so the next shade we're going to try is electric bloom and that is in this nice orange color okay you can see the pigment on the brush he's like super pigmented so electric bloom is a vivid like coral shade is it giving me the same thing or not no nah, i don't know it's looking the same as the other one by the way i'm like ODing on it so you guys can see I don't think anybody wants to wear it like this but here it is is this a lot uh, yes but I'm putting a lot so you can see it because this is supposed to be a buildable coverage so just in case you go overboard with the splashes feel free to take a translucent powder bam bam and that kind of takes it from an intense oh god what did I do to yeah this is wearable Yeah, this is still a lot but anyways you get the point you get the point okay this is electric bloom vivid coral color 
the third shade that i'm going to try which i'm doubting that is going to do anything to my skin tone is desert orchid okay so according to pat's uh, website desert orchid is a bronze a rose bronze with gold pearls in it so let me try another brush what do you guys think so that way there's no like transfer of like colors deposited by the brush Okay, like I said, nothing is happening. Okay, this, um, would this be, okay, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's barely nothing. I knew this was going to happen, but guess what? I wouldn't even bother returning it because it has this subtle glow to it that like, I could vibe with this would be like another uh what is it highlighter for me but it's a very like natural highlighter okay maybe it's showing up i'm just not like taking it easily on this blush because i already like set my mind but yeah, this is Desert Orchid, but I am kind of here for it. It's kind of natural, and it's doing two things at once. It's a little bit of blush and a whole lot of highlighter. That's what I'm getting from it. So let me add that to the nose too. So for people that are like natural blush for my skin tone, I think Desert Orchid is really good. Let me finish my face off camera and I'll come back to do the closing for this video. Alright guys, this is the final look. I still end up uh, not changing the blush because I kind of like Loki likes it. We, I'm talking about like Desert Orchid because it's a little bit of like blush. Maybe like too nude of a blush but like I like the way it looks on me and then I didn't even have to apply highlighter so it's double the gain for me so i did keep it and finish the rest of my face for my lips i did use the fenty beauty lipstick in the shade uh single and i topped it with the pat mcgrath um uh, lip glosses by the way this lip glosses smell amazing and then they have like this amazing uh staying power on your lips and they look good so for comparison like this is pat mcgrath's um setting powder and this is 0.17 ounce and the blush itself is 0.34 ounce you don't need a whole lot for blushes because you barely use them it's not like an eyeshadow where you dig in because these are like really pigmented they will last you well when it comes to the price it is 38 dollars um it's a little bit on the higher side but as we know pat mcgrath's uh, products are kind of like high tier so they are expensive because of the ingredients that she uses and obviously the name attached to the brand like for example this eyeshadow palette retails for 125 if i can remember her foundation is like 68 something um now this is 38 yes i understand it's a little bit expensive but if you have the coins to spend you are actually spending it on a good product so with pat's product you're just not paying for the name but this is really a luxury product that outperforms most most of the makeup products that are on the market that is the one thing that i know for sure pat mcgrath is known she's like the runway queen she's the one to create trends in the makeup industry uh big respect to her she's a black woman yes we love when a black woman stands and win so yeah that is my final feedback on the splashes uh if you're interested in the splashes please go to patmagrad.com or check out sephora i don't know if they're out on sephora yet because i bought this on the early access uh email that i found but anyways keep an eye on it i will catch you in my next video till then be good you get darling